ladies and gentlemen. Hey guys and girls of YouTube, my name is Kaz Wallace and in today's video I'm going to be showing you a new Cody XBMC setup wizard and it's called the best ever. Alright, I know it's a bit of a play on words but it may be just one of the best ever Cody setup wizards that I've ever seen. And it's made by a guy named Tony Khan, Tony Khan from the UK and he messaged me on Facebook because he's a part of not only my Facebook but my YouTube he stated that he built this, this setup wizard for the Cody and XBMC and he regularly updates it. So I gave it a look, I gave it a try, and I found it to be very, very smoothly run and well designed. So I'm gonna show you how to install it. You can definitely tell me what you think in the comments below. Um, I'm also gonna leave his Facebook link in the description below in the event that you wanna communicate with him to, to add a few things to the, to the build or take away a few things from the build. You should send your suggestions to him and then you can communicate that way. I'm also gonna leave in the description below the repository that I'm going to use, which is Pins TV's repository. Now there are other ways you can you can get this wizard, but this is the way that I'm going to show you in this video, and it worked for me. All right. So the first thing you want to do, you just want to go to Systems and then go to File Manager, and go to Add Source. All right. Now in the Add Source section where it says None, you want to go into that, and then you want to type in the source that's like I said, it's going to be in the description below, and the source is HTTP colon forward slash forward slash uh, repo dot spins uh, with a Z rather than an S uh, TV dot com all right so once you put that in you just want to press done and you want to go down to where in this empty space and I named it spins TV repo you can name it whatever you want but that's what I name mine then the next thing you want to do, you just want to come over that and then you want to go to systems and settings. All right now once in systems and settings, uh, you want to go to install from zip and go to your dot spins repo or whatever you named your, your, your source. And then you just want to install this, this file right here where it says repository spins tv dot zip. It's going to install some stuff in the background. Once that's installed, then you want to go to install from repository. And I'm using Cody 15 Isengard. Um, but if you're using 14, I've suggested you go to get add-ons. Alright? Now once you're in here, you're going to go to the repository that Spins TV has. And then you want to go into program add-ons. Alright? Now once in program add-ons, you're going to install the Spins TV wizard. All right, now once you've installed the Spins TV Wizard, next thing you want to do is you want to go to your programs. And then you can open up the Spins TV Wizard. All right, now in the Spins TV Wizard, I hope you see a bunch of these different things like Spins TV's Predator, Spins TV Build, uh, Install Previous Version, Spins TV XXX, Mental Axe, and all these different stuff. What all these are is basically builds, uh, just like the one that I'm going to show you in this video. And you can definitely test them out, but the one that I'm gonna really show you is the one built by Tony Khan, all right? It's called the best ever. If you scroll down, you're gonna see it right here where it says best ever, TBE, all right? So it's a pretty simple icon. Uh, he's indicating to me that at some point he's gonna upgrade it, but hey, it gets the job done. So once you go here, and it's a simple setup, all you have to do is hover over it, highlight it, and press OK or press Enter on your keyboard or mouse or remote, and it will install. Now, it takes about 5 to 10 minutes to install, depending on how fast your computer, device, or whatever have you're using is. But once it's installed, it's going to give you instructions on what to do next. So, we're just going to fast forward this section. Okay, guys, as you can see, it's downloaded and completed. Uh, but in a little text, a little notification that they provide, uh, saying that the only way for the for the updates to, to stick is that it has to forcefully close the Kodi in XPMC and you can't use the exit or quit button in Kodi. It has to forcefully close it itself. Alright? So you just want to press OK and then you want to go to yes close. And once that's done it's going to do some weird looking things. Uh, whatever device you're using it's going to close without you pressing anything else. 
and then you just want to open up your Kodi again. And again, I'm using my PC, but this can be done not only on the stick, but any Android box. Okay, so once you've started up your Kodi after running the best ever setup visit, you're going to see that things are laid out a bit different. Uh, you can see that these tiles to the top here definitely you can interact with, which is really cool. I find that to be really interesting. Um, if you guys don't know the shortcut, so you can interact normally is to the bottom, and the power button and everything is to the bottom. But all that is moved, all that is changed. And you can see that, that the creator, Tony Khan, he has all these like cinema areas where it uses like different add-ons that are already installed on the, on the build uh, to give you a better uh, organized selection of things television sports sky sports and all them different things um, stand-up comedy and whatever movies and just jokes or whatever and then if you go to add-ons it still has the the major add-ons um, that you may need like all the, the IPTV like Dexter, Daffy, Channel Pair, C Cloud, Sports Devil and all the big names all right now still shout out to my my operations robocop ultimate video add-on for the Kodi and xvmc it's a group that i'm a part of on facebook i'm going to leave that link in the description book as well it also has iptv for spanish with the wolf iptv i see that as well well the good thing about this setup is that you can still add add-ons to the, to the setup by simply going to systems and then going to file manager and when you go into file manager just scroll right down to the last and you still add sources like how it has all these different sources here i see all these different sources and that's and that's really a good thing because because it has the sources it's going to be able to update as the repositories itself are updated um, not only with the build but let's say super repo is updated the, the the build is definitely going to be updated automatically all right but you still can like i say add whatever add-on you want um whether it be a zip file or through a repository simply go into a repository or if it's a zip file you can still go here and do what you have to round of applause to Tony Khan from the UK for building this uh, he gets my two thumbs up it's definitely a good build I'm definitely going to use it on my fire sticks Android boxes PCs or whatever I have set up and it's, and it's really good for people who don't know how to do it uh, some for people who have a lot to do this definitely is going to cut down the time you're going to have to, to spend programming these things thank you guys for watching this video please like and share this video subscribe to my channel peace Tutorials he said to provide Like, comment, share, and subscribe